Would you think that I'm just a complete internet huckster if I told you that I literally had a way for you to improve your IQ by 20%? Yeah, most of you have probably already bounced from this video. Okay, the reality is there's serious, serious proof that that actually is real. Okay, it comes down to the proper, the proper utilization of creatine. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use creatine for nootropic purposes to improve your brain function. Okay, now before again you turn off this video, remember that creatine is not a muscle building supplement. Creatine is an energy producing supplement. It just so happened to have been commandeered by the fitness industry and the muscle building crew. So it's kind of like just misconstrued everything. The reality is it helps us create ATP, which I'll explain in just a second. You're tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel with new videos every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. Please hit that subscribe button so you never miss a beat, but also hit that little bell button so you know whenever I do a live broadcast or anything like that. All right, let me go ahead and start off with a study that was published in the Proceedings of Royalty Society B Biological Sciences. I know, crazy name. Okay, what this study did is it took a look at individuals that were either on creatine or not on creatine over a six week period. So what they did is they actually took vegans and vegetarians who were more than likely uh, in a state where they probably weren't getting a lot of exogenous creatine coming in from meat sources. And they said, okay, half of you we're gonna give five grams of creatine a day to for six weeks and half of you were simply not. Okay. Well, they measured their IQ at the beginning of the study and then they measured their IQ at the end of the six weeks and they found that those that were taking the five grams of creatine ended up having a 20% improvement on their IQ test. That is off the charts improvement for literally just a few weeks. Okay, 20% improvement. Now, here's what we have to understand, how creatine actually works. See, creatine allows us to create more ATP. When we come down to how we create energy, it's really simple. Well, it's actually very complex, but it's explained simply. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is adenosine and three phosphate molecules. When we go through the process of creating energy, we remove one of the phosphate molecules and that adenosine triphosphate now becomes adenosine diphosphate. Now, what happens is to some degree, in order to turn that adenosine diphosphate back into adenosine triphosphate, we need some creatine. Okay, so what happens is it's the energy of removing that phosphate molecule from ATP to ADP that creates a spark of energy. So in order to recreate that spark, we need to reattach that phosphate molecule. So we removed the phosphate molecule, but now we got to put it back so that we can rip it off again and create more energy. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can do that but creatine allows us to do it really quick. You see, creatine is also known as creatine phosphate. So creatine carries the phosphate over to the adenosine diphosphate so that it can create new energy again. Without that creatine, it doesn't happen as fast. So what happens is it's really hard to pull creatine from our system all the time. Eventually it slows down. So when we take a small amount of exogenous creatine, it allows that ATP process to occur faster. That's why we can get more strength and more energy in the gym with creatine. But here's what's wild. Per capita, if you will, our brain uses more energy than anything. Our tiny little heads, our tiny little brains take up 20% of our entire body's adenosine triphosphate. 20% of our entire molecular energy. And we are so busy thinking about what it does in the muscle that we forget that we need it all in the brain. So creatine plays a role in the brain, which is exactly why that Society B study showed that people got smarter. Now, there's some caveats to this, right? Creatine can make you hold water. Creatine can be hard if you're not drinking enough water. So you need to make sure that you're doing this properly. Because I do believe that a small microdose of creatine is very powerful for long-term brain health and for overall quick bursts of energy. The nice thing about creatine is you notice it fast, right? You don't have to load with a bunch of creatine. In fact, it's been shown that just one to two grams of creatine can have a pretty solid effect. Five grams is enough to load your muscles with a lot of creatine if you are trying to get a little bit more of a weightlifting effect. If you're not doing a lot of physical activity, one to two grams of creatine per day is going to get you a phenomenal mental boost. If you are doing physical activity, you have to account for that too. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to take just one to two grams of creatine, then go work out, burn it all up, and not have enough left over to get a mental boost. But I would say 
three grams is about where you need to be if you're moderately working out. And if you're working out with a lot of intensity, maybe bump it up to four. Five, in my opinion, is the absolute upper limit. After five is where you start to see a little bit of excess water retention, and nobody wants that. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't want to be holding extra water. We do just want to be able to create ATP at a faster rate. And now specifically, we see a big increase in ATP regeneration within the hippocampus. The hippocampus is really important for memory. So if I were to go into the other room right now and I were to read a research paper, which is kind of what I do before I film a lot of times, and then come back out here, I would be using a lot of my hippocampus to explain what I read, okay? Now, if I was consuming some creatine, I could access that hippocampus potentially 20% faster, right? I could get more energy more energy from an exogenous form of creatine. So the way that you can get more out of this, I mean, you can get creatine for like dirt cheap, like dirt cheap, you just want regular creatine monohydrate, right? But you can literally almost double the effect of creatine by combining it with like lion's mane or reishi mushroom simply because that has a powerful effect on creating what is called nerve growth factor, so or producing more nerve growth factor. Now the specific protein, what it does is it encourages or allows more fluent and rapid communication between two neurons in short distances. So basically, if you have two uh, neurons that are communicating to each other, short distances, not traveling really far, but short distances, just like for memory, things like that, quick movements, okay, that transmission requires nerve growth factor. That protein assists that. So the more nerve growth factor we have, the faster and the more efficiently neurons can communicate with each other. Okay, so now imagine being able to improve that superhighway between the neurons with lion's mane or reishi mushroom. But now imagine adding ATP to the mix with creatine. So you just increase that. So you now have more activity going just because the communication is clearer and you have a faster vehicle. Okay, so it's like instead of taking a windy back road in a Prius, you're taking a super highway freeway that's a direct line in I don't know, a McLaren or Ferrari or something, right? Okay, so whole different ball game. It's just gonna be faster and more efficient. Now, creatine you can get anywhere, and just so that you guys know, when it comes down to like lion's mane and reishi, you've probably seen my videos on nootropics before. Uh, Four Sigmatic really paves the way here. Everyone talks about them. Tim Ferriss talks about them. A lot of people online, you see them in Whole Foods. So Four Sigmatic is coffee that has the reishi and the lion's mane in it. So I put a link down below in the description for anyone that wants to get uh, a special discount because I do have a special discount because I work with them all the time. So you guys can take advantage of that. Um, I'll link to uh, creatine down on Amazon too. No specific link there, honestly. You can just get whatever creatine you want. Just don't get a creatine ethyl ester, okay? Just get plain old creatine monohydrate, get a cheap one. And when it comes to the reishi and the four sigmatic and everything like that, uh, again, special link in the description for a special discount for everybody. So with what you'd want to do with that, again, you'd want to start out probably with like one gram of the creatine and increase your way up until you feel good, but you don't feel like you're getting water retention. If you start gaining weight, like a half pound or a pound consistently, like you're holding that weight, you know you need to back it off about a gram. That's just how you find your sweet spot. I play around with it, try to figure out sometimes I retain more water than others. Anyway. That's how you do it. That's how you get more boost out of that. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. If you have ideas for future videos, you want more nootropic tips, just let me know. See you soon.